What's going on YouTube, Philip World here, and for today's video, I've been wanting to do this for a while now, and that is to show you guys uh, my fishing backpack that I purchased for $40 from Walmart, and that is the Flambo Mike Iconelli series backpack. So let me just tell you the story of why I needed a backpack. So I used to just use like, you know, like just like your normal, I think it's pronounced like Jans, Jans Sport backpacks, or just basically any backpack that you can get for like 20 bucks. They just throw my tackle boxes in there. Um, but the problem is those backpacks typically don't last that very long due to the durability of them and how they're made. Uh, I found this backpack when I was uh, shopping for some tackle at Walmart and I saw that it was originally priced for $40. I thought that maybe this was on sale because uh, when I checked online this backpack is usually around like 60 bucks. But no, that's actually the price that they always sell this backpack for. So one thing I forgot to mention was uh, I have owned this backpack for over a year now. And that's why I decided to make this video because I think it's fair to say my personal opinions on this backpack after I already put it to the use. And I really put this backpack to the use. Like, I would throw my tag box in here. I would uh, just throw it in my, in my car. I would throw it on the bow. I would just throw it on the ground. Like, I put the, I did not treat this thing very well. And considering how I've treated this backpack over the past year, I think this backpack did a very good job at, uh, you know, uh, keeping itself in a good condition. So let's go ahead and start beginning on uh, showing you guys some of the pros and cons of the backpack and some of the stuff that I like, some of the stuff I don't like. So to begin, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some of the features that this backpack has. And let's go ahead and start off from the top. So when you open up this backpack, you can obviously see that uh, you put all your uh, storage boxes in here, your tackle boxes in here. Um, at the top here, we have this dry pouch kind of Ziploc bag thing that has a little strap to hold it up. I like to use this thing to put, you know, put the essential stuff like my keys or my phone or uh, as you can see here, I have my fishing license here. And I typically always carry in this because, um, you know, in case you like forget to bring on your fishing trip or something, it's always nice to just have in here so that way, in case you do, you know, happen to forget it, it'll always just be in here. So as you can see inside of here, we have two, or two, sorry, I can't count. Uh, we have four tackle boxes in here. These are 14-inch uh, tackle boxes, so full-size tackle boxes. And you have four, you can fit four of them easily in here. And you still have a little bit of room in here to like, you know, put whatever you want. If I go ahead and take out the tackle boxes. As you can see, we still have plenty of room in here. Uh, one thing I like about this backpack is that it holds its shape. I like that you have this kind of like rectangle box kind of effect here. Uh, this makes it easier to just, you know, you don't have to just put tackle boxes here sometimes. I'll use this backpack to put my uh, filming equipment in here, and um, I like it. You know, it keeps stuff protected. Sometimes I'll put everything in an extra case, and it's just a nice carrying bag. So going on, looking at the front here, we have a couple cool, cool stuff here. Here uh, we have two, um, I guess you want to call these like slots or holsters to put your tools in. Uh, here I have Cast King's uh, new fishing scissors, uh, or uh, scissors meant to cut braid and, and thick line. These things do a pretty good job. I like them a lot. They're pretty sharp, and uh, I think they're only like eight bucks on Amazon, so that's a pretty good deal. And they come also with a with a lanyard, but I mean, uh, I like to use this clip on here because it holds it uh, steady or it holds it well in here, and I never have issues of it falling out. Also over here, I have uh, some pliers. I just keep some little pliers, and then in here you also have a sleeve here that you can just put whatever you want. I have uh, an extra pair of pliers. Yeah, you can, it's never a bad thing to have extra stuff. So another uh, item, a feature on the backpack is this rod holder. Uh, my personal opinion, it does the job. I don't really like it all that much, but honestly, it, it, hold, it does the job well. Uh, you have this little Velcro kind of strap thing to secure your rod in at the top part. And over here, you put the bottom end of the rod to hold it in place. And then I can see you have uh, Mike Iaconelli's uh, logo here. And uh, you also have uh, Flambeau's uh, patch right here. So going on to the sides of the taco box or the backpack, we have two pouches on the sides as well, and um, here we have two extra pouches for uh, whatever you want to put in here. I like to use these to store extra taco boxes in, but honestly, you can put anything you want in here. There's even like a cup holder. Sometimes I'll just put line in here or something, or at least I think this is a cup holder. Them. May not be its actual intent, but I mean, I just put fishing line in, or leader material in there. You also have these smaller pouches here to put whatever you want in there. But honestly, I think the best use of this side pouch is just to put extra stuff in here. Like I put my smaller tack boxes in there. And the same thing goes over here on this side. You also have another pouch, and then you also have this inside pouch, which again, I just put another tackle box in there. 
But honestly, there's a, a bunch of little pouches here that you can put uh, whatever what you want in there. I just put a bunch of, uh, you know, like swivels and stuff in here, just whatever I need for my particular fishing trip. Going on to the back of, of the backpack, you also have, um, you also have these, uh, I would say these are pretty high quality uh, backpack straps. On here you have some uh, padded mesh material that's uh, breathable because it's mesh. And it's also, it's padded pretty pretty well. Uh, you, holding this backpack with a bunch of tackle and like, you know, a lot of weight and stuff, I would say this is a pretty comfortable backpack. It fits nice on my shoulders. And on the actual straps of the backpack, you have this uh, clip right here, which allows you, you know, it's just a chest strap clip. Uh, you can adjust it how far and how low you want it on the straps. So yeah, that's another cool feature. It helps you uh, carry if you're holding a lot of weight in there. And then going on to the bottom of the backpack, you have these uh, nice little padded um, legs here. I don't know what you want to call these. Uh, basically, you have uh, some nicer material down here that uh, m makes it a lot more durable to, you know, put it down if you have like putting down mud or grass or something that's wet. One more feature I also forgot to mention is that this backpack has uh, water resistant. It's made out of water resistant material, uh, meaning that, you know, it's rain resistant. Uh, and in my opinion, I've put this, I've took this backpack out in the snow, the rain, um, and honestly, it does do a pretty good job keeping everything uh, dry. However, if you're literally like throwing this in the lake or there's just a lot of water going on this, eventually the water will penetrate through, but as most things will, uh, if there's a t enough water, nothing's truly like, you know, like 100% water resistant. I'm just gonna go ahead and start uh, going into some of the things I don't like about this backpack and some things I think they could improve on in future models. To begin, I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the zippers. Basically on these, I think they could just improve by making the string go all the way through around instead of cutting it and gluing in there. And also I think they could try changing this into like a rubber material, which would be uh, much more better for the uh, sensitivity on the fingers. Uh, plastic, and you know, you know, they made it kind of round and it's a little bit, you know, it's comfortable, but I feel like it, it would be better if it was made out of rubber. Another thing I do not like on this backpack is the rod holder, as I mentioned earlier. I feel like they can improve on this by, you know, uh, adding some extra features. Adding some extra features on the rod holder that will allow it to, you know, allow you to secure your rod more, uh, better onto the backpack. Because sometimes what happens if I put my rod in here and I don't, you know, I didn't mess around with this too much, the rod will actually start to, like, move around and stuff. And I feel like it'd be better if you had it more secure and compact onto the backpack itself. Another area I... I feel like they could improve in is the actual pouches inside of here. Uh, I feel like they could do a little bit better with these. The problem I realize is um, sometimes when you try putting stuff in here, it won't actually fit because these are a little bit too small. I feel like they could have done a little bit better job. And maybe also adding some straps on here to secure the stuff in here. And whatever this thing is, if it's a cup holder, if it's meant to hold fishing line, or if it, I, it might even actually be something to put your reel in, which would make more sense about this. Uh, I don't like this Velcro design back here. Um, I think, I feel like if you actually, you know, did something better where you can clip in or, you know, it's actually attached or stitched into the backpack, I feel like that'd be better. But considering all the flaws I find in this backpack, if they were to, you know, add some of those things, I feel like it would increase the cost of the backpack. But in my honest opinion, for $40, I think this is as good as you can get. There might be, the only thing I can probably think of that can compete with this would be uh, some of those Amazon brands or uh, Bass Pro Shop has their, I think it's called the, the Pro Max series backpacks. Uh, I think they might be just as much or a little bit cheaper, but honestly, those are the only things I can think of that could compete with this backpack. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm going. I'm trying to do more of these types of videos where I show you guys some of the things that I buy and like you know what I think and uh, if it's a good buy or not. Just my overall opinions and reviews on the products that I purchase. I'm going to be trying to do these more often. And if you are actually enjoying them, please be sure to let me know in the comments below. I do read all the comments. Be sure to also let me know what products you want to see more of, and that includes you know fishing reels, rods, uh, fishing tackle, and all sorts of stuff. Anything fishing related, basically. So yeah, thank you again guys for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you are a subscriber, make sure to hit that uh, bell notifications on because I'm trying to post videos daily. So thanks again for watching, tight lines, and I'll catch you on my next video.